Okay, there's a couple of points that we need to bring in mind. You know, so firstly, Africa is just characterized by what they call high tariffs and barriers to uh, the movement of goods. And barriers means uh, things like delays at the border posts, um, customs things, inspections and the like. And all of that adds a huge amount of cost to doing trade. And so it basically what it also does, it accentuates the need for a free point, uh, or at least a free trade zone. But at the same time, it also highlights why African businesses want this free trade zone. So what the, the free trade agreement does, it actually reduces those tariffs by up to about 90%. In some instances, they say it's 97%, which is quite high, if you like. And it also tries to break down those non-tariff barriers. But most importantly, if you think about Africa in its context, it's 1.3 billion people opens that whole market to everybody and so when you think about it the market over opening up movement of skills movement of goods movements of people it means that there's got to be a boost to 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 the transport infrastructure because it has to be moved but the downside actually <laughs> is, is that unfortunately Africa's infrastructure transport infrastructure is really poor. And so on the one hand, you might have, for example, this reduction in tariffs. And by the way, the United Nations um, Trade um, Council actually estimates that each year Africa could save $20 billion. Not actually save, but it's actual cash that goes into the kitty. So you can imagine what that uh, cash can do for um, different countries for investment and the like. So it's an important aspect to have. So you've got the cash savings or the cost savings or the trade cost savings on the one hand, but if transport is inefficient, you're losing. So it's not being balanced. So you're not saving on the transport side. And just to give you an example, we have an investment in a rail organization called Traction. It operates in many parts of Africa and uh, in operating in Africa, what it has to do, it has to import spare parts and components. Now think about it, pre the Free Trade Continental Agreement, customs, inspection, non-tariff barriers and the like it takes time, it takes effort and it takes money to be able to clear those goods, okay? Those costs are then passed on to the customer, therefore making the transport costs higher take those barriers away, those costs, savings, can be um, passed on to the customer.